Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth. How much of great privileges that has been bestowed upon us. How many great lessons that we need to learn from the word of the Lord and we should live by example witnessing in this angelic conflict. How much more truth can we understand? Then for the great lesson told by our Lord in John 18:37, that I, to this end I was been born, to this end I was been alive, to this end I was been made, so that I should be a witness for the truth. Today can we examine that great question in our lives and understand what is the end that we have been born alive on this earth? What is the end that we have been given again spiritual birth on this earth? Only for the sake of your salvation, only for the sake of your eternal life, if you believe in the Lord so that your things on this earth could be safeguarded. We will be the most wretched creatures of all time. We have been here given to be witnessing for the truth. We have been made neos and kainos. We need to understand the neos when we have been made in contrast to kainos. Neos is what you have been born again. Kainos is what your inner man, inner nature has to be renewed by the daily intake of Bible doctrine. And if you are not reaching to that kainos, then you will never grow up to the full knowledge of realization of doctrine wherewith you have been put, wherewith you have been made, and wherewith you have been created, which have to be after the image of Christ. Dear brother, Brethren, the contrast between the darkness and lightness, how much great it would be, so will be the contrast between the neos and kainos. Neos means just believing in the Lord and being born again. Kainos means renovating your mind and your thinking towards Christ and His knowledge. And that is what you and I have been called, and that is what you, have, you and I have been chosen to the daily renovation work under the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. And therefore, you and I need to know, if you are not in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, there is no way possible for us to go for kainos, though you are neos. Neos means new in nature which did not exist. But kainos is what the new in attitude which did not exist. And that attitude could be developed as we take in the word of the Lord. And without taking in the word of the Lord, you cannot understand. We have a great lesson in Exodus 10, 22 to 23. There was a thick darkness throughout the land of Egypt, but all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. What a contrast. The land of knowledge and wisdom was in utter darkness. A darkness which could be felt. All the wisdom of the Egyptians could not bring them light in their homes. All the treasures of Egypt could not purchase that light. True light must come from him who is the source of light, as Nebuchadnezzar's son Belshazzar also understood at the point of his death. And as he once said, let there be light, bringing physical light into existence, so his word, the Holy Scripture, gives the spiritual light we need in our homes. Thy word, said the psalmist, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. What a terrible thing it is to be a home at night with no light at all. It it is even more terrible to be without the true light which the word of the Lord gives. But it is not enough just to have Bibles in our homes or, in our, or even the best commentaries. The psalmist goes on to say, The entrance of the word giveth me light, giveth understanding unto the simple in Psalms 119, 130. We must read God's word and we must go to learn the word of the Lord. And it has to enter our minds and hearts and obey it. Only thus will it give, the, give us the wisdom we need. If we desire more wisdom in our family life, then remember that the answer is in the word of the Lord. No amount of education will keep us from serious error if we are ignorant of the word of the Lord. The Sadducees thought they were very wise, but our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has exposed their ignorance and said to them, you error because you know not the scriptures in Matthew 22, 29. The Lord desires that we have light in our dwellings. This is why he said, and this word which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart, and thou shalt impress them upon thy sons, and thou shalt talk of them when thou sittest in, the, in, in thy house. Unless we do this, we must not expect to have light in our dwellings. Therefore, dear brethren, that light is after believing in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is the true word of the Lord under the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. So, dear brethren, think over these issues because today the wind is too strong. We shall come back and continue tomorrow. With our head bowed and eyes closed, the closing movements being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope, and without eternal life, you know, I will be telling to Lord God the Father that you believe upon Christ. That is the moment to 
yourself, you shall have this eternal truth. This eternal truth for us, for very simple, believe in Christ, you shall be saved. And whereas for the believer, the great matter is to grow up in grace and the knowledge of Bible doctrine. You shall learn to acquire, to possess, to know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And for the pastor teachers, the great matter is to carry Sultan Lagan, herald the word in season or off season, because of the diameter of my witnesses, where it has been called. The unwilling diameter of my witnesses, followed by Trinity in our, followed by the Trinity in our body and Bible in our hands, we need to know the diameter of my witnesses. If there are no diameter of my witnesses for us to witness to our hearing, need not worry, besides nature, the entire angelic host will be our witnesses. And what for we are here, we need to teach the believers the entrance of thy word, give us light. So which way you want to go, you decide, as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. Father, grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship through the word. We pray that God got the Holy Spirit and let us on these things, so that we could go and understand now the Neos into the Kainos, and really renovate our thinking as Romans 12 tells to us, so that it is thy word, thy entrance of thy word, could give us that truth, that light, and that dwelling. Therefore, our Lord, we give thee thanks and praise the glorious name, through Jesus Christ our Lord, our Savior, unto whom belongs all the glory, measurement, authority, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. For I ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.